There's a bill that's moving through the state legislature that would declare California a sanctuary state. You've not, you've, you've, you've not indicated whether you're going to be fully supportive of this just yet. Are you? Could you be? Yeah. Well, first of all, that bill does not declare California a sanctuary state, number one. Number two, it's still going through the process. Uh, we're looking at very carefully. We're having discussions with the author. Uh, there are some changes that I think uh, would be very important. Why don't you important. believe it, it isn't fair to call that a, uh, that it declares California? Explain why because, uh, that you don't like that because phrase. That, well, I, as a former seminarian, I have a very clear image of the sanctuary. It's in a church. Uh, it conjures up medieval sanctuary places. Uh, and it, it, it says more than a specific uh, set of legislative requirements, which the goal here is to block uh, and not to collaborate uh, with abuse of federal power. That's the goal. And we want to be very understanding of people who have come to our state, have worked in our economy, often for decades, uh, serving the need, picking our food, working in our restaurants, working in high-tech industries. Uh, the whole range of what constitutes the life of California has been contributed to by many of these immigrants that are not, docu uh, not documented. And we, we want to make sure we help them to the extent that <clears throat> the law of California can uh, coexist with the law of the United States. So it is a balancing act. It does require some sensitivity, and that's why I take uh, a more nuanced right. and careful approach to dealing with what is a difficult problem, because you do have people who are not here legally. They've committed crimes. Uh, they have no business uh, in the United States in the, way, in the manner in which they've come and conducted themselves uh, subsequently.